Hi, everyone. Um, so good to see you, and thanks for coming here and engaging with us um, on our day today. Um, in my presentation, um, I'd like to talk about how talent wins games, but how partnerships win championships. Jeroen has um, yeah, highlighted in his uh, agenda uh, summary this morning. And uh, this is very, very much um, connected to the topic of uh, jointness. So this is something I'd like to dive a little bit deeper in my conversation. So maybe I introduce myself uh, shortly because um, I have met some of you in my last two months at Core Media. But um, yeah, there are also a lot of new faces. And uh, yeah, over the past two months, I had a chance to talk to a lot of you, um, learn more about your experience with Comedia, your motivations, and uh, yeah, your way of working and generating business, for example, um, which, which is, after all, very important to us, and also implementing uh, business. So, um, but, you know, if, um, and that's really my belief, we, um, you know, actually sync together and, um, yeah, form a team across partners, partners with us, then, you know, just imagine how much more we can achieve in a joint approach. And how that could work, um, I want to show um, in a, yeah, in a moment. I uh, prepared a little experiment for that and would need actually five people on stage. <laughs> yeah, you, I think I announced it already. So maybe a telecom uh, would be great. Marcel and Elena, for example. Could you come on stage um, just for the experiment? <laughs> No, no, telecom, you guys too. I need you too. <laughs> it's not always volunteering, <laughs> but that's also what partnerships is about, isn't it? So, okay, maybe we do a little bit more heavy lifting today, and I don't ask Elena, but maybe Jörg, do you want to go on the chair? <laughs> and. The other ones, I need uh, two of you in mirror image um, on his shoulders and two uh, on his knee. Right, so just stand uh, maybe up. Yeah, that's good, exactly. Yeah, maybe here. Exactly, that's great. And here. So, and my question is, do you kind of believe that you could lift Jörg <laughs> uh, with your just two fingers doing like this? Do you believe in it? Just try. Okay, just try. I mean, yeah, it's, it's about testing. Yeah, off we go. Under his armpits and his... <laughs> okay. No, 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 uh, his arm here, under his shoulder and his knees, exactly. Yeah, so off we go. Uh, okay. Okay, so maybe let's try again. Um, maybe it takes a little bit more synchronization here. So each of you take our one hand, one hand, and then we pile it over each other. So one, Elena, above this, above this, and then the other hand on top. Now we count to 10. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and off we go again. Take your fingers and lift him up. One, two, and three. Ooh! <laughs> Yahoo! That's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> That was my little experience. Uh, thanks for volunteering. <laughs> yeah, I like that it worked. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I, I think this shows very clearly what partnerships can do, right? But it takes a plan. It takes synchronization. 
and it takes um, commitment, right, to do the heavy lifting that is needed out there. Uh, not only in those days or in these days. I mean, I've talked to quite a few of you, and uh, you know, everybody resonated that pipelines were very dry at the beginning of the year. That um, pipeline, you know, slipped into next quarters, even into next years. And um, I firmly believe and have seen, uh, you know, best practices in that to, to join uh, with each other, uh, to build a network, to approach enterprises uh, from different ways. Because, yeah, it's become uh, yeah, a lot more complex and I'll talk about this a little bit later. But, um, yeah, just how we want to exactly... Um, live this partnership or, you know, how do we really want to execute it? And I think, as I said, jointness also has to do a lot with values. So if we believe in our values together uh, and believe, you know, how we can approach this, then, you know, partnerships are much easier. So we need to find partners who are addition, uh, in addition to our experiences, to our qualities, to our experiences, and um, move together. And I think, you know, Comedia uh, wants to become better at this. We had a great partnership uh, manager over the time. Uh, last two years has been a little bit more quiet, even though, um, yeah, sales has done a great job. But um, as Jeroen uh, mentioned before, uh, Comedia has done uh, really uh, invest to hire new partner managers across the globe to um, yeah, work on partner enablement um, to really become your CMS vendor of choice. And we want to become this by helping you excel in um, generating business together, implementing and running your customers successfully by delivering a first class project, a product, sorry, um, a joint approach and true partnership. And um, yeah, maybe, you know, to get a little bit more precise about this, um, how, how do we want to live this? And I'd like to, you know, quote uh, Monday Consulting here, who has been a partner for 10 years and taking, um, yeah, core media as their CMS to create next level customer experience journeys. And I found it quite interesting because uh, yesterday it was said how Comedia is the product, but how amazing it is actually what you as a partner make out of it, right? I mean, you tackle business issues out there and find a solution based um, on Comedia. And for example, we had a great uh, presentation from Hansa Merkur yesterday um, who built um, a sales portal based on, on Comedia, which actually solved internal um, efficiency challenges and help par um, yeah, target groups or potential customers navigate their way through, uh, yeah, through the pages, find their um, suitable um, insurance products. So I think, yeah, it was a lot of um, issues solved on there through that. So, and that's also telling us a lot about value, right? So... Comedia as the platform, the partner as the implementer, and that's, you know, a great, great uh, partnership here. But I think Comedia um, delivers much more value to you that you can use to, um, yeah, to reach your goals. And I think this is across all different levels. So be it a uh, product, I mean, um, yeah, so Comedia, you know, is a hybrid solution, composable headless, invests in trends to give you really a future-proof uh, product to whatever you want to do, right? And this accounts also for um, your business models. We are not restricted to one industry only, but, you know, actually agnostic to open doors to all industries that um, need a CMS, that want to, um, you know, tell product stories. So, yeah, it's uh, somewhat of this um, implementation frame for endless CMS ideas, right? 
and um, maybe also to touch um, on, on partner values uh, we believe in and, and we are working on actually. So Jeroen also mentioned this, uh, we have been working on renewing um, our partner framework, which is also directed towards more jointness. Um, it is also attached to some goals for platinum and uh, gold partner levels because we definitely want to achieve more together with you. But um, yeah, it's also about mutual commitment, uh, you know, how we work together and, uh, you know, which strategy we define in our business plans and go to markets to achieve these objectives. And for sure, we want to reward those who um, yeah, do business together with us. Um, then on customer level, I mean um, all of the services uh, you implement or solutions you create um, definitely help companies reach their KPIs, company KPIs. I think this is a very, very big benefit that both of us are um, giving to, to customers out there, you know, from performances uplift, um, ROI, some of them faster, uh, depending on the approach, MVP versus maybe there's waterfall out there still, but um, yeah, and uh, definitely future proofness and uh, optimized uh, TCO on a high level. So yes, and um, but I think, you know, to really reach our target and to establish the jointness, we have to think across the entire partner cycle, partner life cycle. So, and this starts with, you know, giving you good enablement. And this is not only true for new partners who don't know the product, but it's a continuous uh, learning journey. So you want to become better at understanding the product, um, you know, getting ideas on, you know, what to do with it. Um, you want to, um, yeah, you know, you want to get um, theoretical uh, knowledge, but also practical experience, which is very important also later on here. Um, but we need a funded plan, you know, and that goes into the topic of joint business development. We need a plan to really know what we want to achieve, uh, you know, a guideline throughout the year. And um, we want to, um, yeah, so um, know whom we want to target. We want to uh, know how, you know, we target uh, customers on the market who are matched to, you know, our experiences, skill sets and so on. And uh, we want to put, uh, yeah, joint initiatives out there to develop uh, leads into the next stages. So opportunity development also there, I mean, it doesn't only take demos and so on and so forth, as you know, but it, it might take, um, you know, a use case workshop to move a prospect on. I had some conversations and we didn't know how to continue. Um, we had contact to uh, prospects, but doors, you know, remained closed. So maybe it's about talking to Uwe, to Martin whatsoever, to our pre-sales team, how to come up with inspirational workshops at this stage, right? Or use case workshops to show a prospect where exactly um, his solution or idea could go based, you know, on our solutions. So, and uh, I think we, yeah, have to uh, get here very precise. And this is about a, a collaboration between you and uh, our sales uh, or go-to-market um, team. Joint delivery, very important. I mean, all of you know and have experienced um, challenges in implementing uh, the product um, and, uh, yeah, you know, taking in customers' um, requirements. So also here, um, we are investing at the moment in building, um, yeah, a, a um, framework and concrete initiatives to help you also deliver uh, successful projects in practice. And uh, once and for all, once a year or whatsoever, we should, you know, review where we stand, uh, where we can optimize and, and see, yeah, where, where we stand and what we can do better. Um, I'd like to dive a little bit deeper into two topics, which is uh, sales and marketing. 
So uh, actually, this is a little bit 90s. I know I liked uh, the chart of Pixel Park better yesterday. So Mario, if you're in the room, maybe you can send me um, yeah, Jens' slides. <laughs> but um, yeah, this graph actually shows um, that you know we need to collaborate in a more different way. And I think some of you have been doing this already. I know that agencies started to talk to each other, some because the market asked for it and uh, you know, for need, some just see that there are different skill sets in you know other agencies, and uh, I think you know we really have to you know unite, but on a very strategic collaboration level if we want to achieve more. So yeah, opportunism has left the building, and I think most of you have noticed that already. Um, and it's not only a new development, you know, which is uh, caused by macroeconomic influence we experience at the moment, but it's also the enterprise sector, right? I mean, uh, decision-making processes have become quite complex, quite long. I mean, we learned it at Torque, half a year or even longer, you know, to, to negotiate a contract. And um, this is because we have many more stakeholders and companies nowadays. So you need to convince not only the team leads, you know, in, in the digital space, so in the, t uh, like a CMS leader whatsoever, but you need to convince the CEO who is a decision maker, the CFO who gives money towards this. I have seen pitches with 30 influencers from company side, also, you know, the law department whatsoever, and they all have a stake in this and want to decide and need to be influenced. And as a single contributor, it's extremely hard to, you know, get entrance into this organization and to uh, influence these. Um, in contrast, with a network of partners, be it a solution partner on one side, a technology partner, us as a vendor, you know, is, is uh, much easier. And I have uh, seen this work very, very well. So um, I think um, if we want to, you know, achieve more things together, it takes um, a target account um, definition. So what are suitable accounts to match your experience. And it takes content to reach out to them. And, you know, after, after a sales call, you know, you want to send out something or you want to deliver maybe a workshop, you know, when, when a prospect comes, you know, uh, or, yeah, gets, gets on hold a little bit to, to, to deliver really concrete examples on where the solution goes. Um, you need usually a BDR to nurture um, marketing leads into sales leads, into next stages, and for sure a great uh, sales team to um, develop this opportunity, you know, done of demos, of workshops or whatsoever. It's a big team really to, to come uh, bring something to closure. So anyhow, I think my main message is here to, you know, think about uh, our approach more strategically, come up with a, a plan um, rather than waiting for the phone to ring. It's a little bit, I mean, I know that most of you don't do it, but I have heard actually a lot of agencies do that. So, but it's a little bit exaggerated for sure. And uh, I just like to get your awareness to the topic of uh, marketing campaigns or better co-marketing campaigns. You know, so rather than thinking in single activities a year, I think it's just important to put um, marketing activities into context. We need to be out there. We need to be, uh, create awareness. Uh, we need to be on the radar on, of prospects because if a prospect has never heard of any of us, they won't have the trust uh, or, you know, the, the loyalty um, to, you know, make a purchase. It's always better to have a brand as a friend, as Henkel, I think, once said. So you want to know, you know, whom you're dealing with and it makes, um, yeah, decision-making processes much easier. So marketing is about, you know, continuation, repetition, awareness. And... Um, you know, different activities are also for different uh, stages um, alongside the pipeline, right? So, you know, whereas you have a video campaign might, you know, create more awareness, a white paper or a webinar will collect, um, yeah, 
contact data already that you know sales then can pick up to develop into the next stages. But you know also as we heard yesterday, sales and marketing have to collaborate quite closely. And I think we can even be better if we support each other. And this is also a promise that us from Comedia would like to make, you know. We want to make our channels uh, available to you to share your content, good content, obviously, on, you know, uh, use cases, solutions, on customer wins. And we can provide you with speakers for event events. We do help you plan implementing events. And, um, yeah, that will definitely make us better. And um, yeah, my last sl slide is on the topic of uh, enablement. Um, and um, I think, yeah, Albert Einstein has noted it already. In theory, uh, theory and practice are the same, but in practice, they're different. And this is exactly a gap that um, we found <laughs> at Comedia because we have a superb enablement platform out there that grows every day and brings out more trainings. But um, there is a practical or a challenge in implementing uh, the projects in practice. So we are working on um, yeah, concrete plans. Uh, there that we want to put into practice, um, but this is something that uh, my colleagues Manon and Kristen will be talking about. Um, yeah, for now, I uh, yeah would like to thank you for being here and encouraged to try out this joint thingy. <laughs> thank you.